Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maida and you're watching Maida Pores. Thank you so much for joining me today. If it's your first time here, you are very welcome. And if you're a returning viewer, well thank you so much for coming back and joining me again, friends. It's so nice to see you. So for today's pour, uh, you can see I have my color palette here. We've got red, white, and blue. This is for the 4th of July. This is premiering on the 4th of July, so maybe you could have guessed that. Um, and this is a very special edition of Made of Pores. This pour is a part of a collaboration that I'm very excited to be a part of, a 4th of July pour aid with some incredibly talented artists. But let me tell you who they are really quick. We've got Donna with its art by Donna. We've got Mina with Mina Villegas Art. We've got Cindy with Cynthia Porter Studios. We've got Sarah Mack, who, Sarah Mack, we've got Sarah Mack. <laughs> we've got Holly with The Morning Pour. We've got me, Maida Pours, Maida Pours Fluid Art. And we've got Kathleen with Cause Creations as well. So as is obvious by that list of names, we've got an incredible just lineup here. So be sure to check out their times in the description. And I am gonna get to pouring. Okay, so I'm gonna get to painting. I have quite an uh, ambitious piece here. Um, I do need to use three techniques. So I'm gonna be using three techniques. I'm gonna be incorporating something from my state and I live in the beautiful state of California. Um, and I need to use these colors, red, white, and blue. Now I am gonna be incorporating some other colors as well. We're, we're allowed to really use any colors we want, but these are gonna be my primary colors. Well, we'll see, white is gonna be an interesting thing to get in here, but we're gonna do it. And I am going to stop talking and we are going to get to pouring, let's go. Okay, I've got my 24 by 20 inch canvas here. This is a level two canvas um, I got at Michael's. And I'm going to be pouring my blue as my base color. Now this is gonna get picked up as a sky, as some water, and it's gonna be the background, but I want it to be, I was thinking about doing black, but I'm like, well, the colors are red, white, and blue, so let's go with blue. So let's go with a dark, rich blue. Now, I made this color by mixing some Golden Fluid Acrylic Payne Spray, along with this Artist Loft Brilliant Blue, and so it's, it's brilliant. Um, okay, so those corners are covered. Now I am just gonna flood the canvas, and we're just going to flood, and we're gonna get this, evenly coated, I'm not, I'm gonna reserve just a little bit, just in case, I don't know, I like to always, never like to use it all. <laughs> blue background. Okay. <clears throat> and I almost always do just a white or black background, so this is fun. I actually really like this. Um, next step. So this is just going to be the color of the sky, so I'm not going to mess with the sky. <laughs> the sky part. This part's going to be the sky up here. But I am going to make the water section be a little more intriguing down here. So, I have a lot of leftover blue paints from my wave pour, and I'm gonna be using these down in this lower um, third section, kind of make the ocean, the water, more interesting here. I obviously already have a lot of blue, but I am gonna add a little of my metallic green and my pistachio, just cause it also needs some green oceans around where I live have green in them <laughs> and I don't know if they have this shade of green but I'd like them to so this is my imaginary world a little bit so I'm gonna put a little bit of that pistachio green in there <laughs> and I am going to take this uh, Amsterdam white so there's gonna be white in my ocean okay I'm gonna drizzle this throughout and I'm just drizzling with my popsicle stick 
but I am gonna drizzle this white throughout it. So there, right there, I've got some white in my painting. <laughs> I will use more white than this. Right? So for this part, I am gonna get my blow dryer. We're gonna blow this out. So technically, I guess this is my first technique. This is a Dutch pour. I'm not gonna worry too much about it. It's just water. I just wanted to have more movement and fun. I might, I'm just gonna, you know, we're just gonna blow it out. We're gonna have fun with it. Again, like I said, I, I it's this is nighttime, so I want the water to feel different from the sky, but I also want it to be rather dark and moody. I do like how this looks like a little wave cresting up. And that is gonna be the ocean. Now, I do need to come in here with sort of the separating land. Okay. So because this is nighttime, this land tends to be lit up by the you know the the cityscape so to speak so i'm gonna come in here with some gold okay and it's just gonna be a thin line on this side we're just gonna go along kind of that lap the the water line so to speak <laughs> i'm going to smear this part okay so i'm gonna dip this um kind of rounded little palette knife here just going to smear this out. And I'm going to smear this out a little bit more. Down through here. And we're going to smear it across. And then through there. And do a couple more smears over here. Okay. And I think I'm going to leave that like that right now. Now, the idea of this, or this uh, golden strip, is that it's the land and sort of the hills, and the reason it should be lit up is because it's nighttime and that's San Francisco, so there's a very abstract background horizon there. So now, for the fun part, I'm gonna be coming in and I'm gonna be starting my bridge. So I am just gonna be uh, using a popsicle stick for this first initial part. I might come in with other tools, I don't know. I'm a mighty big fan of a popsicle stick, so. I'm gonna start with my first guy down here. And this is actually like, this is in the foreground. So even though it's called the Golden Gate Bridge, it's really this rich, deep orange, rusted red-orange color which I'm sure most everybody watching this knows, but if by some off chance you have never seen, it's called golden, but it's actually rather red. <laughs> now this is Deco Art Satin Enamel in Ruby Red, and I'm reason I chose Satin Enamel to do this part is because I know it's gonna just, it's gonna break through, it's gonna come through, it's gonna be a strong paint, strong color, and I'm gonna be able to get that red to show up really vibrantly. I used to drive across this bridge every day and the perspective that this, if this was a photograph, the perspective that it would be taken on is this overlook, sort of the very last exit of the freeway you can get off, off on before you um, cross the bridge and there's an overlook that you can pull off and park and kind of hike up to this cliff that overlooks the Golden Gate Bridge right, right, right at this vantage point, so to speak. And I have definitely gone up there and taken a few photographs myself, and this is like one of my favorite vantage points of the Golden Gate Bridge. And I think it's a pretty popular uh, spot for people to take photographs. So you may have seen several photographs with um, with this sort of perspective, but that's why, in case you didn't know, uh, it's because there is a beautiful kind of overlook um, where it's very easy to take photos. <laughs> you don't actually have to like climb any cliffs or anything, you know, you do have to do a little hike, a little hike up a hill, but you don't have to climb any, climb any cliffs. 
And so when I first heard about this collaboration and it needed to have something to do with my state, this is like the first thing that I kind of thought of. So hopefully it turns out. Okay. So I don't know what technique uh, drawing on paint with a popsicle stick is called, but this is a third technique here. You'll have to tell me what you think this technique is called. <laughs> I honestly don't know uh, what the official name for doing this is, so. If there is an official name, please, please, please let me know what it is. If it's not, if there's not an official name, well, we should come up with one. Which do you think the official name should be? So I worry when I do this type of um, painting, you know, like I really enjoy this technique of kind of drawing on still very abstract. It's definitely not realistic something, you know, an impression of something. I would call it impressionistic. But I've been doing it a lot lately with my trees. So I have to tell you guys, this is not my first attempt at this. And so I've had some pretty epic fails. So, so on that note, while I'm not a hundred percent, like this is perfect. I feel like this is a whole lot closer than I've gotten so far as to like what I'm seeing in my head, you know? I like it. And yes, it's a little messy, but hey, <laughs> it's acrylic paint pouring, of course it's a little messy. All right. I've decided I need to let this dry and then I need to come back in and make it pop more. I don't know, we'll see. But I am going to add in some fireworks up here. So I am going to come with the slightly bigger end. The idea is, the idea is explosions in the sky. <laughs> okay, but right? Like, come on, explosions in the sky. Okay. some gray here and I'm just going to sort of try to outline that just a little bit just for a little depth here here and there just a little bit of depth for now uh, it does it needs to dry and then I need to see what I need to do if I need to do anything to the bridge okay so it's been a few days this is completely dry, 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 dry. And I've also come in here with some acrylic paint pens. I've come in and I've really kind of added details and highlights and uh, I've added, <laughs> added to this. And I'm sorry that I did not film that. Um, 
I've never actually used acrylic paint pens before. I wasn't sure exactly what I was gonna do or how I was gonna use them. And I needed it to be sort of a pressure-free, experimental moment for myself, which it was. And I'm very happy um, with the results. I did add a little bit of like the city skyline in the background, but I'm not 100% done yet. I am gonna come in and add, I wanna add a few more highlights to my fireworks. Um, not much, just a little bit. And then I also wanna add just a couple of reflections of the fireworks in the water as well. Um, and then I am gonna be done. It's really just that final finishing touch. I've been staring at this painting and I'm like, that's, that's what it needs. So I made myself a few more little handy dandy tools. Um, so this is just a, it's actually a toilet paper roll that I like cut the fringe and rolled it up a little bit tighter. So it kind of creates that fan effect. And I have this here, um, this is actually satin enamel white. I've had it mixed up for a while. I think any white would do, um, cause I'm really just gonna be using this white and the paint is dry, so. But this does happen to be satin enamel, just FYI. Okay, so I'm just gonna do, go ahead and dip the way. I did this before for the original set, but I just wanna add, so I just wanna make sure there's, I have a few in there that I wanna make sure get covered. Yeah, okay. And I'm just gonna add it in there a little bit. A few more touches in there a little bit. A little there. Okay. I don't wanna add too much. Uh, I just wanna add a little, little bit there. Okay, and I am gonna add reflections in the water add one right here Boop. and then down over here Boop. okay so that's sort of the bigger guy and then I have this my straw it's the same concept just done with the straw <laughs> and it's just a smaller circumference so I can kind of get that little white accent more in the middle there and in the middle here I am gonna go ahead and get in the middle here Just a little bit. I just wanted it to be a little bit brighter, I guess. Because I felt like there needed to be a reflection in the water of what was going on in the sky. You know, that it's been bugging me for a couple days there. <laughs> okay, and I'm pretty, that's, that's, that's all I'm gonna do here. I don't wanna overdo it. I just really needed to add those reflections down in here. Okay, so I've added in the highlights and I wanna add in just a few more stars. Um, nothing crazy, <laughs> famous last words. We're just gonna go for it. We can say it's stars, we can say it's um, explosions, whatever. <laughs> whatever you wanna call it. I guess maybe a lot of action in the sky. It's a very delicate effect, except for that first corner that did get a little Jackson Pollock on me, but I'm embracing it. <clears throat> I'm embracing it. Okay, this piece is finished. It's also pretty much 100% dry, except for those little additions I just that you just saw me add. I am gonna go ahead and bring you in for a close-up now, but as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Okay, here we go, the finished piece. Completely different than anything I've ever done before. Very impressionistic, mixed with pouring. Um, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I really do appreciate it. If you're here for the collab, or even if you're not here for the collab, be sure to check out the links in my description so you can check out the other incredible artists who are part of this collaboration. Um, up next in the lineup, if you're here on premiere day, is Kathleen with Cause Creations. Definitely be sure to check her video out. She is phenomenal and incomparable, along with all of the other ladies that were part of this collab who I'm so happy and lucky to have gotten to do this with them. So thank you so much for watching. As always, please do hit that like button if you enjoyed. It helps with the algorithm. Consider subscribing if you enjoy watching acrylic paint pouring because that is what I do here. And check out in the description a link for my Facebook group. I would love to continue the conversation over there. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.